Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping by. I am so excited for today's video. I absolutely love scones because I love that you can eat them with, with a cup of tea or some double cream and lemon curd on top. I just love that stuff. Like, I think the uh, English in me is showing. <laughs> but let's get into this recipe. We are going to make some proper English scones here. So we've got two cups of all-purpose flour, uh, four teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, and I have two tablespoons of sugar here, but we're just gonna use one for inside the mix and then the rest of it is going to be used to like sprinkle on top afterward. All right, so we're gonna give that a little stir. And next we are going to get five tablespoons of cold butter and you wanna make sure this comes right out of the fridge when you do this step. So we're gonna score my packaging here because it says how many tablespoons there are on the outside. I'm gonna score it at five. And then we are just going to cut that off and cut this up into little cubes. And once we have all our cubes in the flour here, we're just gonna start pinching and we're just gonna keep pinching and pinching and squishing and pinching until it comes together and I will show you here in just a moment how it comes together. Pinch, pinch. And once it comes together like so, we will move on to the next step. So first we're going to crack two eggs into another bowl. And then we're going to add 3 fourths cup of heavy whipping cream and then whisk that together. And then we have one more ingredient to add which is the almond extract. I've got one teaspoon here and I love that nutty flavor that the almond extract adds. But you don't have to add it if you don't want to. And then I'm going to pour this over into the dry ingredient bowl. And we're going to use a fork just to bring it together a little bit and then we will add um, just whatever other ingredients we want. For this particular scone recipe, I'm just adding some sliced almonds, but if you wanted to do like blueberries or dried cranberries or dried strawberries, something like that, just whatever you want to add at this point, you want to add about a third a cup. So I have a third a cup of sliced almonds that I just added. And right when this just barely comes together, we are going to flour our surface and roll this out. And the secret to good scones is to not overwork the, the batter. So we're just gonna kind of push it together and then flatten it out to about three quarters of an inch thick and cut it into our triangles. And before we start cutting, you want to make sure that you have a, a baking sheet lined with some parchment paper so that it's ready to transfer the um, sliced scones onto. So I'm going to do my scones kind of smaller than usual. Um, these would not be ones that you would find like in a coffee shop. These are much smaller um, because I give them to my children and I don't like them to waste. And if I gave them the regular size scones, they probably wouldn't eat the whole thing. So yeah, we're just going to cut them into nice triangle type shapes or trapezoid, whatever you like. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna shape them slightly so they're more uniform. And then I will be making my egg wash. So we're gonna crack an egg. And whisk it with a fork. And then I went ahead and did my egg wash portion of this off camera because I don't have a proper egg washing brush and I had to use my fingers and I didn't wanna make you guys watch that. 
But anyway, it is now time to put the sugar on. We're just gonna sprinkle a little bit on top of each scone, and then we're gonna add a few more sliced almonds um, for aesthetic, just, just because all of the almonds that I added are mixed in with the batter. So we, we need some almonds on the outside. And then it will be time to put these in the oven. We're gonna bake these at 450 degrees for seven to nine minutes. And here's what they look like when they're all done. These look super awesome. I'm so happy with how they turned out. These are probably my best scones I've ever made. They look perfect. All right, it's time to enjoy one of these. All right, we're gonna break it open so you guys can see inside. They look so good. And then we're just gonna top them off with some English double cream and some lemon curd. We're gonna make these authentic. <laughs> All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe video. Um, I hope that I made scones seem easy for you. They're really not hard to make. There's just like a lot of ingredients you gotta like keep track of, but they are so delicious and so yummy with a cup of tea. All right guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you are notified each time I make a new video.